Hey everybody, it's your boy Raj Goop Doc. So, I'm um, normally not voiced by this guy, but the other guy doesn't know what Grand Theft Auto really is. Well, he does, but he just doesn't know what the games are about. So, today we're playing some Grand Theft Auto 3. This game's personally just a big godsend to me, and I've just been around it for so long, you know. It can go back to the, um, I believe it was 2001 when the game came out. I was a little lad and my mother just gave me the game recently and man it was a godsend and I'm just so grateful for the ability to just and the privilege to play this game. So um, that's pretty much it bro. So basically this game is about a guy named Claude, not Claude Speed like from Grand Theft Auto 2, a different Claude. His name's Claude, we don't know his surname but he had a girlfriend named Catalina who was also with the um protagonist from San Andreas which we will play eventually on this channel guys don't worry so basically they got together and he got with Claude and Claude ended up you know Claude uh, ended up getting betrayed by her after a crime spiel of nine years and man you may be saying since you're a cop are you like against Grand Theft Auto and we're playing the 10th year anniversary version of mobile which is a separate version there's the original there's the 10th year anniversary and definitive definitive is pretty bad they should just made a remake but like I said, I mean, even this game just in the Rage Engine with the same models, with like the same new animations, that would have been a blessing. That would have been a better remaster than we got. Like Grand Theft Auto 3 Rage, Vice City Rage, San Andreas Rage. So yeah, that's pretty cool, guys. It's, it's just just a big godsend and a blessing to begin with. But uh, I think my hands are getting real tired, so I think we're going to we'll pause back to when we get there. So oh, maybe, maybe not now. We'll see when we get there. So... Since I'm a cop, some people may think I'm against these games, but these games are actually a godsend, and it's a blessing and a privilege to even be able to play these games. I mean, these games are absolutely just crazy, and we tried making this with Pastor Tim, but I think we all know that the other guy doesn't know much about GTA, and because of that, he didn't want to play, which is completely understandable. Um, so yeah, I don't really like FNAF that much.